Hi and welcome to the sixth episode of Off The Record, a series brought to you by the free music festival Brussels Jazz Weekend. We're going to the Antwerp Harbour, the second largest port in Europe, for a mm, curious Belgian jazz release. It's an album that is as legendary for its cover art, of course, as it is for the music and the musicians playing on it. Sax appeal were 1961 and this is a period in Belgian jazz that is marked by the sheer absence of modern jazz releases. Sure, there's the popularity of old-style New Orleans jazz which still manages to attract large audiences, but finding a modern Belgian jazz record is nothing short of a miracle. And it's a good one to boot. Jacques Sells was born in a rich shipowner's family uh, who worked at the Antwerp Harbour and his parents died when he was still quite young. So the young Jean-Jacques, his real name, decided to spend the whole fortune to his one passion, which was jazz records. And he filled the house with ten thousands of them. Uh, the old type, the 78s, the shellac records. Now, at the end of World War II, Antwerp got bombarded with V-bombs and one of those bombs hit the home of Jacques Sells. So his whole fortune and his whole jazz collection went up in flame. You have to remember, the shellac material is quite inflammable too, so that didn't help. In 1948, something happened which changed the musical life of Jacques Sells. He went to see a concert by the modern bebop trumpet player Dizzy Gillespie who performed with his big band in Antwerp. Now, that gave him the inspiration to start off his own big band, featuring some of the best talent that Belgium had to offer at the time, like the saxophone player Bobby Jasper, or Bobby Jasper and the Brussels genius of Jean Tillemans, also known as Toots. Unlike those two, Tillemans and Bobby Jasper, who of course went on to have very successful careers overseas in America, Jacques Sells never really wanted to leave his hometown of Antwerp. Now, to be a working modern jazz musician in Belgium in the 1950s or 1960s, that doesn't make enough money to make a living. So he continued his work at the Antwerp Harbour. Although the record was recorded in Brussels in 1961, for some unknown reasons it took a few years before it was released. And it was released by the rather improbable Dutch Relax label. It was a label that was managed by the television personality Willem Duis and he was assisted by this piano player right here, jazz piano player called Pim Jacobs. He was the husband of the uh, very good Dutch singer Rita Reis and Pim Jacobs assured that Relax, aside from the popular Dutch music, also issued a couple of jazz records, among which this is one of them. Jacques Sells is accompanied by an international cast of players, two American expats. On organ we have Lou Bennett and on drums is Oliver Jackson, but it also is the debut of one of the most legendary current Belgian jazz players, Philippe Catherine. It's the only LP we have of Jacques Sells, and it also is the very first large album on which Philippe Catherine plays. Philippe Catherine, who was, he remembers himself as being 17, 18 years old at the time, and he was attending a very strict Catholic school in Brussels. Now, when he saw this album issued, the way he remembers it, he was kind of, kind of shocked to see the cover. And uh, as you know, Catholic priests and semi-nude cover models don't really mix. So although he was very proud to have recorded a jazz album, he couldn't show it to his classmates. Now this story, the way Philippe Catherine likes to remember it, might not be true because the record is probably released in 1966 or even 68. But it's a good story nonetheless. Turn down your lights, turn up your sound system, relax and listen. Perhaps uh, order a, a 
a packet of French fries and some mayonnaise, have a good Belgian pint of beer, and enjoy the sounds of the sexy sex of Sal's and his swinging friends all year round, the best of Belgian jazz. Off the Record is a jazzy online video series brought to you by the Free City Festival Brussels Jazz Weekend. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't miss a single episode.